It is the eve of the new calendar year, and I don't know how we got here, but here we are. My dear girls, I am ambitious for you, but not to have you make a dash in the world. Marry rich men merely because they are rich, or have splendid houses which are not homes because love is wanting. Money is a needful and precious thing, and when well used, a noble thing, but I never want you to think of it as the first or only prize to strive for. I'd rather see you poor men's wives if you were happy, beloved, contented, then queens on thrones without self-respect and peace. In the last video, we laid some groundwork for the foundations for moving towards a fresh start. So if you haven't seen that video, I will definitely link it in the description box and pin it so that you can go back if you want to and watch that one first. But now looking forward at the new calendar year and having so many things on our hearts, desires, things that we want to resolve to be better at, resolve to accomplish. Now for me, all of my plans are through the filter of if the Lord be willing. I always end my videos with Lord willing. I will see each and every one of you again. And that's because we don't know what's gonna happen to tomorrow, but I believe in my heart that I know the one who does know what's going to happen tomorrow. And so if the Lord is not the one to build the house, the builder builds in vain. And that if any of my plans and purposes are not actually good for me, that he knows better and that he will gently deter me from those things and lead me into something else. Stewardship is greater than short gain. And stewardship is one of the main things in my experience that is the difference between true, sustained longevity of success for our goals and aspirations and resolutions. Because when we learn to steward well the things that we have, we are operating in contentment. We are not always looking for the quick fix and the short gain. When we learn to steward things well, we learn to be better managers of things. We learn to appreciate things more. So that is mindset number one, that stewardship is greater than short gain. Because short gain may feel good for a quick period of time but stewardship brings us into a lifestyle of long-term success. Mindset number two, reasons are greater than results. We all want the results, but our reasons are the most important thing. And we talked about this in the last video. Reasons are your core motivations for why you're doing what you're doing. So that when you hit the wall, when it's a hard day, when you feel like tapping out and quitting, you can come back to your core motivations, your reasons. Why on a deep level are you doing this? And you wanna make sure that your core reasons are things that are stable and sustainable and have true value. They have true meaning or eternal value. So they are things that are grounding and anchoring and you can come back to them when you're having a hard day. So that is mindset number two. We don't just wanna be shooting for results. We wanna be concrete and anchored in our reasons. Mindset number three, consistency and intentionality. Intentionality is one of the hearts of the Little House on the Mountain channel, encouraging other people and working through myself to live a more intentional life where we have consistency in our mindsets, in our behaviors, in our stewardship. And that kind of connects to this other one I wrote down, which is lifestyle. And lifestyle is a lasting change. So it's not something we jump into with haste, or without preparation or strategy. We want lifestyle. That should be what we're aiming towards is a shift in lifestyle, a lasting change, not a burst 
of just a short-term goal that's going to burn real bright real fast and then fade out quickly. It's kind of like the difference between having long-term stable monogamy with one person that loves and respects you versus having a fling, right? That excitement, the adrenaline, and then you're left with the feeling of emptiness because it's not something you've worked at with stewardship, consistency, uh, endurance, and reasons. It's something you jumped into with haste and those things leave us feeling empty. So that's kind of a group of number four. And number five is that understanding, really understanding that our thoughts will become words and our words will become actions. The scriptures talk over and over again about taking our thoughts captive and being aware of our thoughts. And so the thoughts will become, eventually become the words we speak and once we start speaking the words, the words will eventually become actions. And so really taking the time this year to press into getting control and self-discipline and intentionality and stewardship of our thoughts and our words and our actions, but it starts right here. 2023, we came out with two journals. One is an intentional living journal and the other one is a biblical affirmations journal. They are affirming words of things directly rooted in the scripture. And then I also just released a spring and summer planner. And the reason I did that is because I was coming up with my own planner. And part of how I approach my goals is I break things down into smaller pieces. This way I don't get overwhelmed and I'm able to steward small chunks of time with more consistency and more endurance. So I developed a spring and summer planner. It has lots of good stuff in there, bedtime and wellness routines and garden journals and all kinds of things. And so if you are interested in that, all of those things will be linked in the description box and pinned in the comments below, but I highly recommend breaking goals and resolutions down into smaller things little wins, things that um, we can more easily steward and approach and overcome. And then as we get that momentum, we can do the next thing and the next thing. But for me, having the spring summer planner, and then I will eventually have the fall winter planner for me, that is easier and less overwhelming than if I just try to do a full, t you know, 2024 planner. I will get part of the way through and I will fall off. So for me, breaking things down into little chunks helps me so much. And finally, friends, for me, there is nothing worth having that God is not involved in. I truly pray for you, friend, if you are watching this at the sound of my voice, that your year this year would be prosperous and filled with good stewardship. It would be filled with healing and lasting change it would be filled with peace and intentionality and comfort and that you would know that you are here on purpose for a purpose and not a mistake that you were crafted fearfully and wonderfully made handcrafted by the creator and lover of your soul and um i truly 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 hope the best for you in the year to come if the stars and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. But isn't, aren't those words spoken directly from the heart of God to us in this moment, as much as they were spoken to the people of Israel when they were first spoken?
behind. Come sit. As most of you know, I love my tea. Is that true? That's true. It's not a lie. No she lies does. detected. I'm a coffee guy. I love my tea, and I happen to like strong tea. The longer that you brew tea bag, tea leaves, the longer you steep it in the water, the stronger your tea will be. And this is true of anything in life that we immerse ourselves in the most, we are going to become more of that thing. And so when we are creating strategies for the things that we desire to accomplish and resolve to do, it is important what we steep ourselves in the most. And so as you take inventory and accountability for the year that just passed by and you are deciding the things that you want to resolve to accomplish, to be better at, to overcome in the year to come, it is important what you immerse yourself in. So if you take inventory of the things and the people that you are absorbing on a daily basis, that you are following, uh, that you are the information that you are steeping yourself in, just know that those are the things that are going to become the strongest influence in your life. So if you are steeping yourself in people that are helping you justify bad actions, things that aren't good for you, if you are steeping yourselves in things that create anxiety or fear, that is going to become a stronger force in your life. But if you are steeping yourself in things that motivate you, people that make you want to be better, things that bring you hope, things that bring you joy, things that bring you peace, those are the things that are going to become stronger in your life. And so just remember, the longer the tea bag steeps in the water, the stronger the tea becomes. Right? Right.